What is going on, YouTube? How you guys doing? You know, this is my uh, a very different style video than what you guys are used to. You know, I did a poll on my channel last week or two weeks ago asking if you guys would like a, a story time every once in a while, you know? Out of all the shenanigans I get involved with and uh, lay out all that stuff. Most of you guys seem to like seemed to like the idea so I figured I'd quickly tell the story of the time I was almost arrested for breaking into a car we'll get to that in a little bit but if you guys could smash the like button that would be I would really appreciate that let's see if we can hit 10 likes on this video you know it's not big but you gotta start somewhere man so yeah this video might seem a little rushed, and that's because I'm leaving the country tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to the motherland. I'm hitting up my boy Putin in Moscow. So, yeah, I'm going to Russia. So, yeah, gonna go hit up the gulags, you heard. Y'all know, know what's up with that. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into this. So, this happened about... A little less than a year ago, about last last August, and it was right before school started. And I'm a junior in high school now, so then I was a sophomore. So me and my boy Kyle, you know, the kids around the block call him Long Schlong Kyle, you know. And uh, yeah, me and him, we're we're good friends. We're pretty close, and um, you know, we we both are into cars. We're car guys, you know. You can go on our Instagram, that's all we follow is a bunch of car pages. You know, that's just what we're into. And uh, not too far away from where we live, there's a, a few dealerships. Toyota, Mercedes, um, Chevy, Ford. You know, they're all on the same road. So whenever we're bored and want to do something, we usually just go there, check out what they got up on deck. But uh, we don't go to Mercedes anymore because they have a... Uh, security system and when we're there you know we check out at all the cool stuff they have like the Tacomas the Ford GTs not GTs Mustang GTs you know all the all the fancy stuff that these car dealerships have and uh sorry about that and uh yeah I, I just lost my train of thought give me a second I'm sorry about this so yeah, we just go there, check out like everything, what's going on, what's up, and there's a uh, there used to be um, some old dealership. I think it was a used car dealership. It's kind of abandoned now. It was like it was right next to the um, uh, Chevrolet Chevy dealership. So, and uh, we, me and my boy, we were walking by, and we noticed. That there was a bunch of Range Rovers there, like brand new, had sticker sticker prices on them and everything. So we hit them up, you know. Oh wait, I'm giving backstory. So when we're at, I forgot about this. Sorry. So when we when we're at the dealerships, yeah, we check out. We usually check if the cars are locked or not, and uh, <laughs> it's kind of stupid. But you know, if the car is unlocked in the lot, we just we like to chill in them. They like, just sit, you know. We don't like steal it oh, oh I, one time there was something funny at the Toyota dealership that, that's a story for another time though but yeah we usually just sit in them and uh, you know so we haven't we only got yelled at once but that's pretty much it so yeah as we're walking by we noticed this like Range Rover dealership and uh, I was like yo let's go check him out you know it's something different it will break up the the loop of us going to the same places so we check it the first day we were there we just we, you know we walked through we sat in a few Range Rovers it was it was a fun time you know we don't do anything bad it was yeah we just we don't do anything bad we just sit in the cars you know that's just what we like doing so the first day we were there we were there, nothing happened we sat in a few you know we hit up the Wendy's right next door <laughs> got got us a few like their uh, fifty cent frosties or whatever I forgot what it was called. So yeah, the first day completely fine. I think it was about a week later, we ended up going back there. 
just because we were bored, have nothing else to do. So we're back there, you know, just sitting in the dealerships. And then we're just sitting in a blue a Villar. I remember the car name. A, a Ranger, and like the guy, there's a fence and like a, there's a car in front of us, a fence and then like a driveway. I saw the, the, um, I saw some guy just drive by and I was like, oh snap, you know, we're going to get in trouble because I'm always the paranoid kid, you know, whenever like some, so, something like I do something stupid or like I'm suspicious, I'm always like, I, I'm like the nervous kid, like I don't try to get in trouble, but I do some every once in a while, but it's normal, you know, I'm a teen, so yeah, and then, yeah, so the second, we're like, oh yeah, they're just driving by, nothing, nothing special, and so we're just going by, and then at the back, there's a big ass Beamer, uh, <laughs> so it was a, it was a BMW 5 Series, and it was unlocked. I sat in it. I was like, I popped the hood. I know I, that's that's very suspicious. I think we're gonna like steal stuff from it, but you know, it was nothing nothing uh, fancy. You know, it had a, a three liter straight six. If any of you guys know what that is, so yeah, I popped the hood. Nothing else. We close it, and then my boy Kyle, you know, he's tagging along, and then. He finds a pack of those cancers in a box if he could pick up what I'm putting down. And, uh, you know, he picks it up because, you know, we, we need money, man. We don't live in, like, those, the Beverly Hills of California. So we, whenever we can, like, sell something to get a little bit of dough, that's what we do. So, and then I noticed an Audi. I, I forgot what it was called. I think it was an A4 or, like, A5. I I don't remember. It was an Audi, though. And usually, it, it doesn't it, it'd be like a car guy thinks if you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. So, usually, they come in a 2.0 T. But instead, this one had a 3.0 turbo, like a supercharged V6 engine. I'm like, hold hold the phone. Hold the phone, you know. So, I because on the back, it said 3.0 instead of 2.0. And that's, like, extremely rare. So, I'm like... Yo, we gotta check this out like right now. So we we get to the car, we open it, we sat, we sit, we sit. It was open, obviously. We didn't break into it. We sit inside it, you know. It was a, it was a luxury car. It was luxurious. It, it was it was an Audi, four rings, you know. And then I I pop the hood, and little do we see it is a uh, V6 engine. I forgot if it was turboed or supercharged, but that's not important to the story. So we're just checking it out. We're like. Oh yeah, like that's this is pretty cool, you know, a rare find, and you know that's usually it. But then we hear a guy behind us, some some this dude skirts up behind the building in like some old ass car. I don't remember what it was. He had a driver, and a guy like jumps out of the passenger seat. He goes, "What are you guys doing?" And we're like, "Oh, we're just checking out the cars." He goes, "No, you're sitting in them." I'm like, and we're like, "Yeah, we're just checking them out. This is what we do." He goes, well, why are you here? I'm like, well, we thought it was an open lot. You know, these these cars have sticker prices on them, you know? We thought it was like a holding center for some dealership nearby. He goes, he goes, I think you're vandalizing them. I'm like, dude, we were just sitting in them. You could check every car we were in. There's nothing wrong with them. We didn't do anything. And he goes, well, I, there's cameras all around here. I saw you guys. And the cops come by here all the time, you know. If I catch you guys here again, I'm gonna have to call the cops. He go. He said something weird. He was like, "The cops come by here all the time," and then he said, "The cops are on the way, on their way." And then he also said, "If I catch you guys here again, I'm gonna have to call the cops." And this dude was mad, like, I don't know what his problem is. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed. His wife left him. I don't know what the hell was up with this dude. But he was furious at just us. We were, I was 15 at the time. And like, you know, we were, we were just not doing anything. Like, <laughs> Kyle, he was petrified. He was just standing there and not saying anything. I was, I was the one talking to him because I'm quick on my feet. You know, I could talk, I could talk when I'm nervous. And, uh, yeah, so, and then like, <laughs> and then like, when the guy leaves, he goes, you have to get out of here. 
and then all along, Kyle has that, uh, the, the pack, uh, this is not a point to the story, and Kyle had the pack, uh, um, what you have to buy, I don't want to say it, but, like, you know, you have to, you have to be, uh, uh, I think 18 to buy it at the convenience store, and you have to show an ID, yeah, you know what I mean, so, yeah, we leave, and we're, he's, like, and he just throws it, like, just, like, not making it, he didn't, like, chuck it like a football, like, Peyton Man, not, what the hell am I saying, uh, <laughs> so he just, like, slot, like, just, like, little chucks it at the building, he goes, dude, what the hell just happened, he goes, I would have been, went off, but I was so nervous, and I'm like, bro, it's fine, but I was, dude, I was so scared, because, like, my, my, my mom, she's Russian, and if I ever got in trouble with the law for anything, I I would probably be sent to the freaking dark corners of Siberia where I have to wrestle bears every 20 minutes. So I was nervous. And then as we're walking out, like two cop cars come by and stop and, and go into the, the building. And we're like, oh, shit. So we run back to the Wendy's. We go inside. You know, I call us an Uber to get home. And, uh. Yeah, we we didn't get arrested. We almost did. I'm not sure what the cops were doing there, but like that that was weird. The guy didn't make any sense when he when he was talking about like him calling the cops. So yeah, every t in that place, I drive by that place at least once a week probably, and every time I go by, it, I always give it like a dirty look because that guy was such a freaking douche nozzle to like just two random teens that were just not doing anything wrong. Well, I mean like. Yeah, it, it might have been illegal, but like, whatever. We're not. Were they gonna charge us with breaking in? The car was open. If it was, it would be different if the car was owned by someone. Like, is out in the freaking Walmart parking lot. That's different. But like, if it's a dealership, like, yeah, I'm. I want to check them out. You know. So yeah, that was the story about when I almost got got arrested. Please let me know how this uh, story went in the comments below. You know, first time. You know, it only get better from now. I have a few other ones to tell, like, when I get back from, when I get back from my vacation in Moscow. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like, you know. I'm, I'm really trying to grow out here. And, uh, yeah, join my Discord if you want. We, we got some, we got some pretty cool things popping off in there. So, yeah, once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I am out. I know, I know, I know, I know that you like it like that. I'm with designer, check the name on the tag. White fox fur on my jacket. Excuse me.